The company behind the Odin is called AYN. I have no idea how that's pronounced, but from what I can tell, they have managed the Indiegogo campaign incredibly well. They kept everyone up to date with news. They have shipped their products on time and everything works as stated, which is a bit of a miracle when you think about it. The unit I have here is the Pro model, which features a Qualcomm Snapdragon SD845 CPU, Arduino 630 GPU, 8GB RAM, a 6-inch IPS touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920x1080 with 369 ppi, Dragon Trail glass cover and 6,000 mAh of battery that packaged up makes one hell of a device, especially when they have priced it at just $290, which is far cheaper than the Steam Deck, the One X Player, and the AYA Neo. I'll admit the price tag does push it out of the affordable handheld category, so I can't really compare it to the RG351 MP, Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, or the Pocket Max 2. They are all far cheaper, but this handheld genuinely feels like the next step in portable emulation and sits itself between the cheap and the expensive, which I kinda did. The packaging was pleasant and felt of high quality and comes with the very basics to get you started. I have yet to receive the dock, so I will review that on our website when it arrives. When you pull it out of the box, you will instantly feel the high build quality. It has this matte touch to it, which keeps fingerprints at bay. It has a nice comfortable weight, which doesn't feel heavy at all, and the setup process is incredibly fluid due to the easy to use Android OS alongside an accurate touch screen for those new to gaming on Android or setting up your handheld. It's very simple. You simply log into your Google account, download the free emulators for the consoles you want to play, install your ROMs on an external SD card, then sync up the emulator with your ROM folder, and you're ready to go. This in itself makes it easy for me to recommend to those of you that are completely new to handhelds. To get emulators on this thing is incredibly easy. Not as easy as the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus I might add, because they created a tutorial that installed them for you with a click of the button. But it's still easy. The Odin has a curved body. It grips at the back, which make it incredibly comfortable to hold. The face is covered by the 6-inch 1080p display, which is easy to see even in pure daylight. On each side, you will notice blue LEDs that light up the sides of the handheld and underneath the analog sticks. These sticks have a 3L3 functionality and sits deep inside the handheld so that you can easily reach the buttons when you're gaming. The action buttons are colored and have nice feedback to them due to the conductive rubbers underneath. It reminds me of modern PS5 and Xbox controllers. On the right you also have your home button and your start select buttons which I have to admit I dislike. The white, boring text slightly ruins the aesthetic of this sleek black device. But that's just me nitpicking. And finally at the bottom you will find a headphone jack alongside your USB-C chairing port which also acts as a place for you to dock your handheld. Overall, the Black Odin I have here does look a little plain. The logo on the bottom left makes me want to throw up and the colored buttons are throwing off the whole stealth vibe. But all of this is personal preference. The Odin comes in a wide number of different colors, transparent shells, and button types. So don't worry, there will be something that tickles your fancy. That aside, the Ein Odin is one of the most comfortable handhelds I have used in a long time. It's light enough to play with for hours on end without snapping your spine. The screen is the perfect size for gaming. And the curved backplate alongside the perfectly placed sensitive buttons makes it feel like this handheld was designed for hands and my hands only. The LED lights on the side are also a really cool addition. It gives it the pop that the handheld really needs and it has almost become the Odin's signature style. <laughs>